So to measure internal and external rotation of the hip, we actually put the client in this kind of position so that the knee is flexed over the, the edge of the bed and the fulcrum is the patella. And we start our zero position is with both arms on top of each other. And so now what we're going to do is we're gonna have the person move into rotation there, which is internal rotation, so you hold that there. It's better if you have a goniometer with a plumb line so you can make sure that you're hanging down straight, but we'll just assume that's fairly straight down. And there we have 25 degrees of internal rotation. Now we'll do external rotation, so bringing the foot inward but keeping the femur in place. That's good, holding it there. And same deal, moving that so that we're in line with the tibia. We're aiming basically right for that um, mid ankle joint there. And there we've got just over 20 degrees of external rotation of the hip.